Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. Take what resonates, leave what does not. What are you struggling with? Three of Swords. No, Three of Wands. Why did I three, say Three of Swords? Okay, so that could be revealing to some people. The Star and Three of Cups. What do you need to focus on? Look at that, Three of Swords. How cool is that? Because that's what I said is Three of Swords. Page of Pentacles and Temperance. I think I want to do it this way. All right, what's coming in for you? Knight of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. Overall energy, Hermit. Hermit's coming out a lot for Capricorn. And then the Moon. And then the Nine of Cups. And then bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. I feel like you're struggling with your direction on where you want to go with a situation. I feel like you're struggling with happiness. I feel like you could be struggling with the friends that you have around you. And that you're struggling with your happiness and you're not sure where to go from here. And you're struggling with that star energy. It could be an Aquarius. It could be a friendship. It could be friendships that you have. It could be relationships that you have with the people around you. That maybe you're questioning that and you're saying, like, do I need to change this up? I feel like it's the people that you surround yourself with are a reflection of yourself. And I feel like you're trying to grow and you're trying to... You're trying to get to this destination of this ship here. And I feel like you're just questioning things around you and the people that you're surrounding yourself with. Um, the reason why you're struggling with that is because of this Three of Swords, whatever that may represent to you, and that you've had some heartache, you've had some hurt, that there's some distance. And I feel that you've sort of lost your your patience with this whole situation but I also feel like what you need to focus on is this what you need to focus on is the three of swords and turning away from it and looking away from it and just le letting it go because this page of pentacles is looking in this opposite direction like he's not looking directly at it but I feel like you know that this is surrounding you you know that this energy is around you and that you have to Give yourself time to heal from this situation and the Three of Swords. And I feel like maybe you haven't done that. That it may be the reason why you're struggling with this is because you haven't acknowledged this and you haven't worked through it. And to be patient and give yourself that that forgiveness for whatever happened here. Um, but then I feel like you need to move on from it and you need to move towards a different direction. The energy that wants to come in for you is change, but it's like, what direction do you want to go in? It's almost like, do you want to go this way? The horse is facing this way, but yet the knight is facing this way, and then this knight is facing right towards you. So I feel like it's the energy that wants to come in for you is it's time to take some actions, and I feel that it's what direction do you want to go in? But I feel that it's a positive direction because I feel like this is making you stagnant, but this is giving you movement. So there, there's movement and there's change that's coming in. And I'm kind of focusing on this sun card here. And I feel like it's positive, the sun card, the sun that's in the middle here. Change, changing things brings an opportunity to, to change things, right? I don't know if that makes sense. If you stay stagnant and you, things stay the same, then nothing will, nothing will change. If you're always doing the same 
behavior, if you're always doing the same thing, that nothing's going to change. But to be able to, to at least have things stirred up to where you look at things differently, that brings change in. I feel like it's being patient with yourself and dedicated and to not give in with that King of Pentacles. But again, the Hermit is coming out. I feel like the Hermit is coming out a lot for Capricorn and it's finding those answers within yourself, but you're not sure of that clarity. But I feel like it's the Nine of Cups is that emotional fulfillment. Um, you have to look for that emotional fulfillment within yourself and that maybe the, what you're struggling with here is that you are looking for that in something or someone else. And when we put too much into that other person or that thing, then that has the possibility to let us down. And when we've put that thing up on a pedestal, when we realize that that person is only human or that situation isn't going to last, that, that it comes crashing down. But if we have that strength within ourselves and to be able to find the answers within ourselves and be able to be strong and pick ourselves up, then we're not putting so much effort into that. All right, let's get the sun. Look, because that's what I was feeling here was a sun and the positive energy. And look at that, Ace of Cups. Working on it. Working on yourself, working on the situation. That's been coming in. The Seven of Cups has been coming out a lot too. Opening up the doors to new possibilities. And then look at that. We have the Three of Cups again. Surrounding yourself. I just feel like what you're surrounding yourself with is not something that is working for you. I feel like here you're struggling with that. But, with, but over here with this um, other energy, I feel like it's more positive. Um putting yourself in this frame of mind of the sun and the ace of cups and having your cup over. This is something that, this is like the advice column. The advice is working on those relationships that give you that fulfillment, that bring you that happiness. Focus on those positive things, right? Don't focus on the negative things. Um, sometimes we have a tendency to, especially, we have a tendency to focus on the negative things. Focusing on the, the cup half full instead of the cup being half empty. And looking within yourself to find the answers and the guidance. Instead of looking, putting it into other, other people or other things. Um, when I was, this was many years ago, probably like 20 years ago. I was very unhappy in my life and so I kept buying more and more pets and more and more animals. I had horses, I had chickens, I had cats, I had birds, I had dogs, I had bunnies and I kept buying more because I would kept, I mean I took very good care of them all and I love them all, I'm not saying that, you know, but I realized that I was trying to fulfill something within you know these animals which obviously animals bring you a lot of love and a lot of happiness and I loved having them but but also it wasn't feeling that void within myself so when I realized that void within myself then I realized okay I need to stop doing that because it's it's not fulfilling that for me and when I realize that within myself is where I have to find that satisfaction and that happiness and that love and that fulfillment is when I, when I realize that I don't have to keep having all of these animals and I don't have to use something else to fulfill it. And I feel like that's kind of what this reading is, is to ha find that fulfillment within yourself. Skunk spirit, know your worth. Know that you are worthy that you deserve the sun card and the ace of cups right that you deserve this nine of cups and that you shouldn't accept less with that with this line here with what you're struggling with sometimes we don't and we accept behavior that is that is not worthy of us and we accept 
other people's bad behavior. We make excuses for their bad behavior. But knowing that, you know, you're worth it. So knowing your worth. All right, let's get a Star Dragons card. We have legacy, persistence, persistence. Don't give up on yourself because it's almost like when you have the toughest struggles is when you really learn the most about yourself and when you really see what you're made of and you really see that like your persistence and and I feel like that goes with the King of Pentacles is that you don't give up on yourself just like me with this channel with the challenges that I've had lately between the you know having someone having had reported me for the nudity in the cards right and so I had to deal with that and then having the um, invalid clicks where they were taking money away from me and my channel was very frustrating and really got me down but I love doing this and it's my persistence and to keep going um, and I feel like this year has been extremely challenging for me I, I feel like this year has been you know more challenging but I feel like it's been challenging in a good way um, I feel like um, it's really shown me what I've what I'm made of and my persistence and to not give up and to keep going and to not give in and it's been a lot of challenges and I feel that it's it's been rewarding even though it's been challenging and I feel like that's what this reading is too is that it's challenging but it's rewarding and it's that persistence that shows you how strong that you really are um, and to not give up all right so I feel like let's just grab one more one more card a numerology card oh we I guess we got two it says two <laughs> two patients right patience having patience with yourself but also and I feel like that goes with the temperance and that persistence and then the adventure 55 life is an adventure we have 55 and then we have number 54 here so 54 55 so that progression um, and that adventure that you're on life is an adventure and what is the adventure that you're going to write where is it going to go where is it going to take you if something's not working for you to make that change and you have the power to do that within yourself. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.